Hello, Super Mario Galaxy 2 walkthrough here. I'm going to be showing you the secret star in the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. And to do this star, you will need 100 coins. And you have to know where to where the Hungry Luma is, which I will show you. It's not that hard to get to. Well, it kind of is. It was a mystery to me. And I had to use my game guide for it. And just kill that flap tag, that's what it's called, I think. And get that coin, and there's also a question coin on the top of this tree, and it makes like a ton of coins come out. And there's also a pipe. You can go in it to get all the coins, and there's a lot of coins there. It's like an endless amount of coins. You can get at least 100 in there. But the thing about those is that you really have a short time to do it. I mean, like, only two seconds. But, well, more like three or four seconds. But, um, I think you can handle it. So, just get it, and a square appears. And see, it's already turning to... That. Now, just get all the coins. I think I'll be able to get all of them because I didn't get those. So just leave the pipe once the question coin is gone, all the coins are gone. I don't know where to need it. I wish that Luma there was like not it didn't want any coins. I wish it gave star bits because there's like a ton of star bits here. So feel kill the flap tack again. And you can get the star bits if you want. And um, go up there and um, kill the, I think it's called an Octumba Elite. It like shoots two rocks instead of one, like the others. So just drop down there and get the coins, then go back up. And kill the Prana Plan and the Flap Tack as well. It's kind of a weird name, Flap Tack. But kind of makes sense. I mean, it's like a tack on his forehead and it flaps down, so. Well, it actually flies, so that's why it's called a flap tack. There's a lot of resources for coins in this. Actually, there's a little more in Star Bits, I have to say. Well, there should have been something at the top of the tree, but I guess not. And remember, do not um, long jump off the endless or the cloud after the final cloud. Well, don't long jump down there because you won't be able to come back up and you won't be able to feed the Luma. And I, you might have not be able to catch this, but in the last video I made, while I was going through a launch star, um, it showed the Luma slightly, just slightly. And you could see it on this big square cloud and it had a question coin in front of it. Plus, um, the question coin makes like 20 coins appear, so I think I might have enough. So, just go back over there, try not to lose your cloud flower. And see at the top of that tree, there is a sling star. And a sleeping toad. And there's the cloud. So, get all the coins. It's not like the last one, you only had like 10 or 5 seconds to get them. There. So I have an under an 18, now just feed him. The thing I like about the coin limits is that you don't have to hold B on them, they just automatically get fit, feed. And it transforms into a planet, which you do see again, but I'm not telling you where because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Well, you'll see a planet similar to this, not exactly like it. So, just go up there. You don't have to use that cloud platform, you can just go up these uh, wooden things. Sometimes you have to, like with that, I think. Actually, I don't think you have to. Yeah, I don't think you do. Alright, and 
Right here, you don't need to cloud. You don't need the cloud flowers anymore. Well, you don't need the cloud platforms, and the star is right there. So that's it for this part. Get ready for. Well, stay tuned for part uh, eight. I'm just showing you the right side down galaxy. Thanks for watching. Bye.